with Andrew Simo getting his second consecutive start behind the dish. 1-0 pitch, high fly ball, left center field. At the track and out of here. Dylan Carey gets Nebraska on the board here in the top half of the first inning. His second home run of the season, and it's 1-0 Cornhuskers in the top of the first. And it started today off with a triple. 0-1, ground ball just over the head of Costello, and Nebraska plates another run. They lead it 2-0. Matthews heads around first, slides in the second. And he's got another RBI double this weekend as Nebraska takes a 2-0 lead here in the top of the second inning. Couple of times, the 0-1. Curve ball, and it's a line drive over the head of Costello all the way to the wall. Matthew scores easily from second. Chugging into second base is Dylan Carey. The 1-2 pitch, ground ball left side, pass Justin DeCrecio. Coming around third is Carey. He scores easily, and Max Anderson, two for two on the day with a couple of singles. The 3 2. Simo, line drive, base hit in the left field, and San Diego's on the board. Andrew Simo's first hit as a Torero is an RBI single. It's Austin Smith's turn. First pitch to Smith, drops down a bunt right in front of the mound. Only plays the first, and he throws it away. Sim advances and scores on the air throw by Drew Cristo. Peraza gets his way to third and sliding into second. Better four years in football as well. And Worthington with a high pop up in the right field. Should be deep enough to tag. Tagging up is Peraza at third and he scores. Throw goes to third base. Not in time to get Smith and Will Worthington. With a sacrifice fly, makes it a one-run game in favor of Nebraska, 4-3. First pitch to Simo, a bunt down. Here comes Smith, the flip down to home. Not in time! He bobbled it. So it actually was in time, but Columbus didn't have the ball. So the squeeze play ends up working out for San Diego. Let's take a look at the replay. Base is loaded in the bottom of the fourth. 2-2 pitch, high fly ball, left center field, at the track, at the wall, grand slam, home run, Jack Costello. His first home run of the year. Gives San Diego an 8-4 lead in the bottom of the fourth inning. Jack Costello. When Costello gets hot, he gets hot. And a grand slam to make this a seven-run inning for the Toreros as they've now doubled the brass. 1-1 pitch, Peraza. High fly ball, left field, see you later. Peraza with a two run homer, his first of the year, makes it 10-4 San Diego in the bottom of the fourth inning as the Toreros put up nine runs in the inning. Nice hit down the left field line that carries out of the ballpark. And San Diego is starting to pour it on here in the bottom of the fourth. The 2-2 pitch, line drive, base hit. That scores Karen easily. Fisher rounding third, headed for home. He scores, and a two RBI single for Garrett Anglum. Makes it a 10-6 game, San Diego in the lead. Heel one pitch to Burnham. Ground ball up the middle, just past the dive of Aracara. One run scores in Cervantes, followed by another run in Anglum. Ball gets away and Matthews scores. And a base is clearing, knock. 
for Casey Burnham. Makes it a 10-9 game. Gonzalez comes set, the 1-0. High fly ball, right field. Peraza running back, looking up, and it's gone. A two-run homer for Charlie Fisher. Gives Nebraska back the lead. It's now 11-10. Wind's blowing out. Charlie Fisher hit it up in the jet stream. His first home run of the year. And in a big spot as it's now 11 to 10 in favor of Nebraska in the top of the sixth. 2-1 pitch. And that's a nice hit through. Matthews going first to third and Smith lets it get past him. It rolls all the way to the wall. Matthews scores easily. Sartori rounding third, headed for home. And he scores. So Sartori goes all the way around the base pass. As Smith lets it go underneath his glove in the outfield. It's now 13 to 10 in favor of Nebraska. So a hit and run for Nebraska. Leads to a Little League home run. The 0 1. High fly ball, left center or right center field, and that splits the outfielders into the gap. Scoring from second is Anderson. He scores easily. Coming around third is Columbus. He scores from first. And standing on second is Charlie Fisher with a two RBI double to the gap. It's 15-10 Nebraska in the top of the seventh. The 3-2 pitch misses for a ball, and that's a walk. That will walk in a run. Hit a two-run homer. This time it gets drilled. 3-1 pitch, misses away. And that's another ball, and that's another walk. The 2-2 inside, and it hit him. Again, the 3-1. Outside ball four, he walks in a run. So Shannon in this inning hit the first batter, walked the second, a 3-1 pitch. Inside ball four, back-to-back -back walks that lead to runs. 1-2. High pop-up in the left field. Tagging up from third is Worthington, and he scores. And a sacrifice fly for Justin DeCrecio is a productive out. Payoff pitch. Line drive, right field, and running underneath it is Anglem to make the out. Two away here in the seventh. The 0 1 pitch. Costello, high fly ball, left field. Does he do it again? Yes, he does! Costello ties the game at 16 with a three-run homer. His second home run of the day. He has a grand slam and a three-run shot. And we got ourselves a new ball game. Unbelievable. Did I not say that? When Jack Costello gets hot, Jack Costello gets hot. And the man is on fire right now. That'll be another pitching change for Nebraska. We'll take a quick break. All tied up at 16 in the bottom of the seventh inning with six of their own. The 2-2. Gurevich down the right field, or down the first base side, fielded by Fisher and taking it himself. So the rally is over for San Diego, but not before they put up six runs and tie the ball game up at 16. We're about to find out. There was the no new inning after three o'clock rule. And Nebraska's meeting right now. The umpires are gathering at third base. It looks like they're done. They dropped the balls. The umpires are out of here. So I guess that's it. I guess we're going to tie that at 16. 